Jillian and today's video we are going to be doing 10 DIYs for your room. I'm so obsessed with everything in this video, it's all really cute and fun whilst being really easy and affordable to make which is always amazing and I love how everything turned out so I hope you guys do too. And if this is my first video that you're seeing, then hello, my name is Jillian. I am so, so happy that you found my channel. And if you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, then all you have to do is click that subscribe button. So I definitely think it's time that we jump into the video and make some DIY room decor. Starting with this adorable cupcake candle, which I love so much because the sprinkles make it so much fun. The first thing you're going to need is a glass jar, and I use a mason jar because I have so many of these lying around. Then I mix some corn syrup with water just so it's a bit runnier, and then using a brush, coat the inside of the jar, and this is what our sprinkles are going to stick to. So of course you're going to need some sprinkles, which is definitely the best part of this candle. So just pour some into the bottom of the jar, and then begin turning the jar around so that sprinkles coat all the sides then you can't have a candle without a wick so just take a wick and apply some blue tack to the bottom and then stick this to the bottom of the jar and make sure it's in the middle because you want your wick to be in the middle and then go ahead and take some wax and I love using soy wax and add a scent if you would like I went with vanilla to go with the cupcake theme then go ahead and melt your wax being really really careful here because wax gets so so hot and I really don't want you guys to burn yourselves so once the wax is melted, you can just carefully pour it into your jar and I made sure to pour this nice and slowly so that the sprinkles wouldn't come away from the sides. Then just go ahead and let your candle set and then once it is, you can cut off the excess wick. And this is the cutest candle I think I've ever seen and I just love looking at it. It's so pretty! Now for this really fun and bright pineapple pot which I love so much, the first thing you are going to need is a terracotta pot and then just go ahead and pick out a pineapple-y yellow colour and paint the pot and mine needed a few coats to get it nice and opaque. And then once your pot has dried, just go ahead and take a white permanent marker and then paint these little V shapes all over the pot to look like the little spiky things on a pineapple. And then I just went around the whole pot with this and it was really easy and it looked so cute when it was finished. Now for the plant part of this pineapple pot, pick out a plant that looks like the top of a pineapple. I just walked around the flower plant place until I could find a plant that looked just like it and then I just planted it in my pot and it turned out so so cute. Now for this super easy and really really fun to make pillow, the first thing you are going to need is a pillowcase and I just went with this white one with some purple pom poms on the edge and then I just took some paper and did a mock up of what I wanted to do so I had a better idea of what colours I liked and the spacing and stuff because I'm terrible at spacing lines evenly. And then just go ahead and take heaps of different colours of paint, you can do whatever colours you like, I just went with my favourites and ones that I knew I would like together. And then just go ahead and begin painting lines all over the pillow and this was so much fun to see it come together and all the different bright colours. And you could totally do spots as well if you liked or instead, that would look so so cute. You could just take a circle sponge and do little spots and it would look like confetti. But I love the sprinkle look, I love how it looks on my bed, it is so so cute and it was so quick to make and I just love how bright and fun it is it just makes me happy to look at it now for these really sparkly and glittery clocks because you guys know how much I love glitter this DIY made me so so happy the first thing you're going to need is a clock and I found these ones at IKEA I love IKEA then just take the paint of your choice and paint a coat over the clock until it's nice and covered and then let it dry and then once it's dry go ahead and take some Mod Podge and apply this before you sprinkle on some glitter. I love Mod Podge. I think it's one of the best inventions. I use it all the time. It's great for glitter and I love glitter. So I just applied some glitter all over the Mod Podge and shook off the excess glitter and then let them dry. And these are so pretty and sparkly, especially on your bedside table. So pretty. Now for these pretty painted pots. Is that what I call them? Pretty painted pots? Well, they are pretty and they're painted pots. The first thing you're going to need is some pots and then just paint them whichever colour you like. I went with some white pots as my base. And then it's time to get creative and you can paint these however you like. So first two I did a similar design but with different colours. They're like really bright pops of colour. The first one I did was blue and then I did pink around the rims of them. And these ones are so pretty and bright. I love how much colour they bring to your room. Then I did this really adorable little eyelashes and little smiley face one. I thought this one was so cute. She looks so, so sweet. 
and then it's time to fill the pot so I just took some rock white rocks and I filled up the pots and then I found these little fake succulents at the craft store I love them you guys know how much I love succulents they just make me so so happy and I place these in the rocks and these pots are just so so cute and I love adding green to the root green to the room <laughs> like plants to the room and I love these they're so cute look at that one in the front she's got the sweetest little face I think she's my favorite now for this painted globe and I love 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 how this turned out I can't stop staring at it it's seriously like my favorite thing ever the first thing you're going to need is a globe so I just found this old one that I had and then just go ahead and paint the globe and I painted my white first just so that I wouldn't have to do as many coats of the other color so once you paint your globe just let it dry and then paint it whichever color you like surprise surprise I went with pink and I love how it turned out so I just painted the actual like glow part pink and then the rest of it I found this beautiful gold paint at the craft store and painted the base and the little stem part gold and then for the quote part of this glow which is the most fun part you can use a pen if you like to write on your quote but my handwriting can be pretty shocking sometimes so I decided to use gold stickers to write one of my favorite travel quotes which is I want to make memories all over the world which is just such a cute quote and I love how that globe turned out now for a donut garland because I love donuts I really wish I had a donut right now to make this the first thing you're going to need is make a donut shape on some cardboard so I just used some circular shapes that I could find that was a lid of a container and this is a cookie cutter so just make some donut shapes and then cut them out and then once you've cut them out it's time to make the icing so just take whichever colors of cardboard you like and begin cutting out icing icing shapes. Now I made a template because I wanted all mine to look the same and I'm terrible at freehanding. So I made a template of the icing and then traced it onto all these different colors of cardboard and then cut those out as well and then I just glued it on top of the donut. Now you can leave them like this or you can add some confetti. So I made some confetti by just hole punching some cardboard and then just glued on all the little sprinkles onto each donut. Now to make it into a garland, just take some string and sticky tape the string to the back of the donuts and then you have the prettiest and most delicious looking garland ever and it just adds so much color to your walls, especially if you have walls like mine that are really plain. I love how this looks and here it's at the top of my bed and it just looks so, so cute. Now for this fake cactus garden, which I love these. Okay, we, we all know I love succulents by now. So these were really easy to make. So the first thing you're going to need to do is take some pebbles. And you can find pebbles in so many different places. So take some pebbles and then I painted mine white just so that when I painted them green, I wouldn't need to do as many coats of the green. So just paint the white, let them dry, and then take all different shades of green paints and paint them green. I went with heaps of different shades so all my cacti would look different. And then I just go ahead and paint on some cacti looking painting. I did lines and spots and just look up pictures of all the different cacti that you can find and then go off those. And then I just arranged them in the pots that I made earlier because I thought they'd look so cute in them as well. And I love how these look and they won't die because they're rocks and they're just so cute and really easy to make. Now for this really pretty lash art, which is perfect if you love makeup or you just have some false lashes that you would love to display. The first thing you're going to need is a frame and then you're also going to need some false eyelashes. Then taking some cardboard, begin writing words that you feel describe the lashes. So I went with natural, flirty and glamorous because I felt like these words just definitely suited the lashes that I picked. So I just tried my absolute best to write as neatly as I could and I even drew some lines so I had a guide otherwise the words would be all over the page. And then I just took some Mod Podge to glue down the lashes and I made sure that the lashes were standing up so I didn't glue them flat down because I still wanted them to look as fluffy as possible. Then once you've glued down the lashes just let it dry and then it's just as easy as putting this back in the frame and this is such a fun way to display your favorite lashes and I love Love how this looks it would look so pretty on a makeup vanity and I love it any makeup lover I think would definitely love this 
Now for this rainbow crate, which is perfect for storing books or magazines or really anything you like. The first thing you're going to need is a crate and guess where I found this? At Ikea. I love Ikea. <laughs> Just go ahead and paint the crate and I painted mine white and then take whichever colors you like and I went with the brightest ones I could find and then these little circle sponges and I just began putting little dots all over the crate until I was happy with it and I love how this turned out. It was so quick and easy to make and it adds so much color to your room and you can even make a few of these and stack them on top of each other or just make a few and sit them next to each other and they would look so so cute. So that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and definitely let me know below which DIY was your favorite. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and if you haven't yet don't forget to click that subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching and I will speak to you guys next time. Bye!